Hey, Cornerstone, Andy here. I'm excited to bring you guys another Wednesday Reflection. Um, and this one is on the miracle of the Incarnation. Um, there's many beautiful truths about Christmas, um, but the Incarnation has to be my favorite. Um, an Incarnation simply means a coming in the flesh. So when we are talking about the Incarnation, we are talking about the glorious truth that God actually became man, took on flesh. Um, and so therefore what we celebrate at Christmas is not just the ordinary birth of a baby, um, but the, the real incarnation of the eternal Son of God. Um, as the Apostle John puts it, he says, the word took on flesh and dwelt among us. And I think it's really easy to miss the significance of this moment because often uh, we think that the Christmas story is the beginning of Jesus' life. But when we remember that Jesus is God, um, he's existed for all eternity. The incarnation, his birth, is actually a mysterious and, and miraculous turning point in the life of our Lord. It uh, reminds me of movies or shows where um, there's like a shocking twist with the main character and the kind of the action pauses in the main character is like, yep, that's me, right? You, you might be wondering how I got here. Um, I imagine that's what Jesus could say about his incarnation, right? Jesus, um, the one by whom all things were created, has now um, entered into his creation and himself become a part of that creation as, as a man. Um, similarly, Jesus, infinite power, infinite wisdom, Right? He, he does not arrive as the, the conquering king that we know him to be, but instead he, he chose um, to, to come as a seemingly insignificant, helpless baby, um, God becoming man. It is an incredible uh, display of our Lord's humility. Uh, but this is why, um, apart from the Holy Spirit opening our eyes and giving us faith, Many people mock the incarnation, um, but really I believe that that masked um, behind all the objections and arguments is really just just a moral question. Man, could, could God really be that humble, right? Could, could God really be that, that good that he would get on our level, so to speak? Um, so when we really think about it, like, well, why, why did this like happen? Like, what are we supposed to take from it? Um, the incarnation does not make sense apart from the rest of the story, right? When we know what this God came to do. Um, Jesus did not just come to, to gather information about some unknown planet, um, but when he came, he knew exactly what he was getting. He knew exactly how, how broken and bent and messed up we are because of our sin. And yet he came, right? And he came on a mission to fix things and to save us from our sins. Um, all miracles, you'll see this in the Bible, all miracles, including the incarnation, serve to support the greatest miracle, and that is the gospel, um, that, that Christ Jesus came um, so that we could be forgiven, that he would die in our place um, so that we could have true life in him. And this gospel connection is why I love the incarnation. Um, I'm going to get a little nerdy in a second, but it is a, a, a miracle that reminds us um, just how much God really does love us because he is willing to do everything absolutely necessary to save us, even if he had to become and limit himself um, to the consequences of being a man like us. Um, so to see this from scripture, let's look at Philippians chapter two, uh, starting in verse five. Read with me. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. These are like jam-packed verses. Um, so let's I'm gonna just take a moment to reflect on them. Um, but it calls our attention again to remember where Jesus was, right? Prior to the incarnation, from, from all eternity, Jesus has been enjoying the glory of being God um, alongside the Father and the Spirit. Uh, heaven is pretty great. <laughs> uh, but instead of clinging, right, clinging tightly to this exalted state, uh, Jesus, when it says empty himself, it's really what, what it's saying is now he didn't like, you know, 
give up who he was, but instead he was willing to to lay aside um, some of his rightful privileges of being God. Um, that he he freely chose um, to leave the perfection of heaven, heaven, um, and, and taking the form of a servant of all things. Right, uh, he would be born in the likeness of men. Um, this this is the miracle that that at the same time, simultaneously, Jesus is. is Fully God, 100% God, and fully man, 100% man. And, and this, this miracle of the incarnation matters uh, because, because of what Jesus would go on to do. We see in verse 8, And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Uh, since God is holy, he must punish sin. And because we are sinners, God must punish us unless someone um, of sufficient value who is worthy in God's eyes um, could could pay the price for us in our place. Um, And because Jesus is God, right, he is the only one worthy to pay the price for our sins. Uh, And yet at the same time, it's a glorious truth that because God, uh, Jesus is man, uh, although without sin, right, sinless, that he can properly represent us, right, human for human, um, and take our place And this is exactly what Jesus did um, on the cross for us. And so this Christmas, uh, a little lesson on the incarnation, this Christmas, let us absolutely, hallelujah, celebrate the birth of our Lord, right? But when we think about the baby in the manger, right, and an incredible display of God's humility, um, let it also remind you of what's coming, that this God-man, Jesus Christ, um, is going to give his life, um, and that he he came not just to dwell among us, um, but he came to give his life uh, that, that, and that we would give our lives to him um, so that we could actually dwell in him. Um, and so I want to uh, end just with this question. Um, how might you then make more of the baby Jesus this Christmas uh, when you just think about the nativity and the birth of our Lord? Um, there's a lot more wrapped up in this manger um, Thanks for listening, guys.